Welcome to a quick Nintendo news video on the channel. The first topic that I need to talk about in this video is that Pokemon Tournament, the arcade version of Pokemon Tournament, will be getting another new character. It will be announced on Tuesday. I'm not sure when the character will go live, but I'm going to be talking about some spoilers, so if you don't want to know who the character will be, then I suggest first they don't look at the comments because I'm sure some people will spoil it for you in the comments and just skip about 30 seconds because then I'm going to talk about it. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the spoiler right now so you need to skip now. So the leak that we got a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago now I think it was, was that Empoleon was going to be coming over to Pokemon Tournament Arcade alongside Scizor and Darkrai. Well, Scizor was the last um, character to be announced, and Dark Ray was announced in July. So the Monet is definitely on in Polion getting announced, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that Pokemon in Pokemon Tournament. Now, this announcement is pretty soon after the last announcement, so it's kind of got me thinking: Does this mean that these characters will be coming over to the Wii U version pretty soon? Or are they coming over to the arcade to have a exclusive period now before a Switch version comes out at launch? That's just my thoughts at this moment in time. But yeah, a new Pokemon Tournament character will be announced on Tuesday, the 1st of November. So the next topic that I need to talk about in this video is that Eurogamer has backed up what Emily Rogers has said around about a couple of months ago now pretty much she said that the switch would have a 720p multi-touch screen and this is what Eurogamer came out and said yesterday and Eurogamer everybody was doubting what they had to say about the switch and um, when it was just known as the NX when it came out with that report in um, July it was everybody was doubting it at the time, I was believing it a little bit just because they got the PS4 Neo right, but I didn't really believe it fully. So, yeah, Eurogamer were pretty spot on with the Switch, and I think they are spot on with this as well. 720p, I think, is more than enough for the tablet screen. I think the Wii U gamepad screen looks good enough. I think the resolution is good enough on that, so an improvement on that is a bonus for me. You just got to think that you're condensing a TV image to a 6.2 inch um, screen. So I think it's going to look good. Um, I think 720p is more than enough. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, so, And Eurogamer have said that it will have a IR pointer on the right Joy-Con. That is what Laura Dale said uh, a few days ago now. I did cover that earlier this week. So... Yeah, I think the Switch having a multi-touch screen is definitely needed just because that is what people are used to nowadays. It would have been weird to have a tablet without a touch screen. So, yeah, this is not confirmed yet by Nintendo, but Eurogamer, they were spot on with the Switch before it was revealed and they leaked the PS4 Pro before it was officially revealed as well. So... There is a good chance that what they're saying in this report is true. And Nintendo themselves have said that more unannounced features will be announced probably in that January presentation. So, yeah, the safe money is that um, you're a game of spot on. That is where the safe bet is. So, yeah, and Emily Rogers spot on as well. She has been right on a lot of things. The three people to trust, I think, are Laura Dale, Eurogamer and Emily Rogers just because they got the switch spot on before it was revealed so yeah I think they are definitely trustworthy so that concludes this quick Nintendo news video let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video goodbye